So here I am in Fitzalan Square. Now I've lived in Sheffield all my life and I never knew until recently that there's a dual lane. So if you're in Fitzalan Square, there's this place and then there's dual lane, which is this. And I've never been down here before. And it doesn't look very welcoming. It stinks of piss. And here we go, for the first time ever in my life. Dual lane. Hope I don't get mugged. So I guess that's where you come if you want to uh, vent your anger at someone. There we go. That's good, wasn't it? Now there's no signs anymore for uh, Dune Lane, but somebody has helpfully drawn the sign on as you enter. So there you go, Dune Lane. So I'm just going to leave the uh, camera running down here because it's just street art everywhere. This used to be the uh, probably one of the busiest parts of Sheffield because the old uh, castle markets used to be there until they were knocked down and uh, the markets moved to the moor. The delicious clam, cracking venue. Came to a festival here once. Uh, I didn't realise um, that there was as much going on down here as what, as what there is. Another venue, plot 22. Obviously closed now. The Ethiopian and Eritrean restaurant there, which is really cool. Yeah, so it uh, used to be the old castle market just here on my right hand side. So then the sheep market used to be just down there. Oh, that's long gone. Um, see what's going on in there. I think they're excavating to uh, find the original castle. At the minute, there's not much going on down here apart from some really nice art and gangs of dodgy youths. <laughs> Might spot me with my GoPro and uh, decide they want to steal it so they can buy some crack or something. They'll have a job. So yeah, so these are uh, all the old pictures of the old markets. How it used to be. Back in the day, we closed about six or seven years, I think. The old courts. Shavin's takeaway. people's memories of the old market. Alright, now I've got to decide where to go next. So perhaps the uh, oldest piece of street art in Sheffield it was commissioned by the council in the 1980s and was made by Paul Watkinson and uh, it actually is based on a real person.
So I've decided to do the area around Division Street and West Street um, because I'm in town so I might as well and I'll leave uh, Kellam Island and uh, Netherthorpe for another day because I reckon I've only got about an hour's worth of light left now. So uh, that's where I'm heading next. So, uh, first one by Pete McKee, this one's called Muriel, and again, it's been vandalised by someone throwing paint at it. It's St Matthew's Church. So this is the uh, Rockingham Street car park and as you can see there's uh, street art all around this Let's get a closer look This is blocked off and this is uh, yeah, there's some more through there. So there were a few uh, pieces of uh, street art around here but it's all been dug up and knocked down so keep on going. This is uh, another fun. The back of a old Raven Racing record and bookshop. So yeah, you'd never walk past this. There'd be no reason for you to come down here. It's just a dead end and there's nothing down here. Now this is an interesting one because uh, we used to come here for open mic night nights. Um, but we always used to walk up this way, so we used to walk up here and then go in there um, for quite a while without ever realising that if we just walked past. Look at that! We don't get any bigger contrast than this, so then we've got St George's Church right next door to the Diamond, it's a university building. It's like one of them future other houses that we saw in uh, Taiwan. Another good example of the contrast of Sheffield. So here we've got the uh, Jessup building, the University of Sheffield Department of Music, right next to the other side of the diamond. And again, you've got the sound house, which I think is part of the university, the Faculty of Music. Right next to an old church. Well, believe it or not, this is a right piece of Sheffield history because this is the back of the old Henderson's Relish uh, building. That's where they used to make it. Doesn't get any more Sheffield than that. So 
Korean totem poles. Been here since March 2019. Celebrate so the 40th anniversary of the Korean language program. The 25th anniversary of the uh, Korean studies degree at University of Sheffield. And this writing here that says Sheffield male general, Sheffield female general. Uh, traditionally installed at the entrance to a village to protect the residents from evil spirits. Dead in here. That looks like it's permanently closed. That. Oh, let's see. She didn't know they had a place up here. Well, I guess it will be dead, won't it? Because it's all restaurants. Well, I say um, today, walking through town, um, I'd forgotten about the pandemic because. Uh, didn't really see any social distancing going on. Right, it's just coming up uh, Westfield Terrace, which runs between Division Street and West Street. And here we've got another phlegm. And if you're looking at the uh, phlegm art, if you just turn around, you'll see this. And this was by uh, an Italian artist called Tellas. Now this used to be uh, Mick Jagger uh, by the artist Trick9. And he came and uh, did uh, painted over Mick Jagger for uh, this mural of David Bowie, which actually got the national press got a lot of criticism people saying it looked nothing like him. It was done just after David Bowie died. And I think he came back to put this sign on. Hashtag love the hate, which was his response to all the uh, negative feedback that um, he received. So he made all the uh, national press, but probably not for the reasons uh, he was hoping for. So I just got one uh, last little uh, area in the city centre to do and then that's me done. Uh, I think I'll just turn it right because uh, we'll be losing the light in about 20 minutes but I think that's just enough time for me to uh, get this last little bit done and uh, I'll have to leave Kelham Island and Netherthorpe uh, for another day. It's quite interesting down here because there's just nothing at all down here. Everything's derelict, empty, not being used. There's some construction work going on, so I don't know uh, how much uh, if if I can actually access these things. Oh. Little phlegm piece there. We'll see how far we can get down. Old cutlery manufacturers. You can see by this big sign here Eyewitness Works design led loft apartments and townhouses coming soon. So this part of Jeffrey is all going to change. Now, I do believe that just around this corner is probably uh, the best piece of street art that we're going to see, or that we will have seen all day. I'm sure it's on this back wall. And would you look at that? Oh, 
Well, I hope that when they do turn these into apartments that they uh, keep that. Flem had his, uh, an exhibition in here while we were travelling in Southeast Asia with uh, big 3D sculptures of all these things. Don't know what that beeping is. Yeah, I think that's the best we've seen so far. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Right, so I'm at Milton Street Car Park and this is going to be the uh, last uh, last one for me today. So I'm just going to have a walk around here. And then that'll be me done. These are all okay, they don't really interest me that much. The best one is uh, the one at the very end. This one. Right, that's the end of uh, that part of the uh, street art walk. I don't know whether that'll be video number three or four because I don't know how long these videos are going to be. So um, once I get around to editing them, uh, I might split them into two, three, or four videos. Um, so anyway, that's the end of. Uh, that lot that I've just done and I uh, will be uh, coming back to do uh, probably one more which will be Kellam Island and Netherthorpe because there's a lot around there and it's an interesting area and uh, yeah so hope you've uh, enjoyed watching these uh, vlogs and I hope you've enjoyed the street art of Sheffield